in this area. It's nice and clean now. Looks new now, right? <laughs> What's that for? So that's just uh, allowing the water to go into the system now. Mm -hmm. So you can get everything primed and ready. You just have to slowly fill the tank because if you fill it too fast, it can cause the media to wear out faster. Oh, I see. So what they mean by bypass? Because when I call them, you know, they always tell when I don't have water inside, yeah. they always tell me do bypass. It's like you know I don't yeah, know so about. Yeah, so bypass what. is just pretty much how it was with these boats uh, to the side. Uh huh. What yeah. does that to do? Like so, all that does is just bypasses the system and it blocks water from coming into the system oh, and I just see. puts you on regular city water. So if the media tank is going bad, it'll allow you to have regular, regular water until we can come out and fix it. Oh, I see. What happened if uh, I didn't do the bypass? The um, water goes... You would probably have hard water or low oh, water pressure over time. I see. How I know I don't, I have a low pressure? Just like if you're using a sink inside, mm -hmm. you're using like multiple sinks and it's low pressure in one and the, or not the other, that'll be an indication. Oh, I see. But uh, since you're having the tanks replaced and this one's just replaced, you won't have that issue for a while. Okay. Electric, make it go easier to run. This is the electric? Yes, yeah, electrical. Good pressure. Okay. <laughs> Is that normal? Like yeah, it's just water spitting out the air and stuff. Oh, I see. So Cleaning now. it up like something? Yeah, so now I have to flush the system itself to get it primed for the, the house. So mm -hmm. I got this side closed for the house. This is just coming into the system. 
Mm -hmm. That way I can flush the new t uh, the new tank and then it'll mm -hmm. be ready to use. Yeah. How you do flush? So what? pretty much just getting it to the uh, cycle like it would if it was cleaning on its own. Uh -huh. So you just manually have to get there. Oh, I see. That's what's going on here. Is that normal? Like there's no water coming yeah. out? Yeah. So it'll start pushing yet. out water, but it's just releasing all the air from the valve. I see. So when you do, what what are you doing, you said? So I'm flushing the system itself. Okay, so with so every new tank, go ahead. Okay, so when you do flushing, you press this two yeah, together? Yeah, so pretty much you'll start it with this recycle button mm -hmm. and then just go through each one with these buttons, but it's nothing that you'll really ever have to do. Mm -hmm. um, the most you'll ever have to do is probably a manual regeneration, which is pretty simple. You just press the recycle and then the square button. Mm -hmm. Um, that's the only thing I have to do for that. Okay. When do I need to do that? Um, that's only if you feel like your water is not coming through good. But mm -hmm. with the new tank, you won't really have that issue. That's more or less if you just want to clean your system before it cleans itself. That's all. Good explanation. Thank you. And now it's flushing out the water there yeah. from the new system. Oh, that's dark. Yeah, so it, it releases the activated charcoal first. Uh -huh. And then it clears up once it gets... Uh, okay, so I can't use the water inside? Uh, not right now, no, because the water is blocked off inside. Oh, okay, so there's no water inside? Yeah, no water inside. I, okay, there. perfect. A lot of times if the tank is going bad, it'll leak water from inside of it and it'll come from the bottom up. Oh, so okay. that could have been what was happening. Um, okay. So what you going to do there? Just going to reprogram the unit itself. Now? So yeah. now it's just service. Now I just have to adjust your time. Anytime you want to adjust the time on the system, you just hold this last button down. Uh -huh. And it'll pop up the time of day. And then you just kind of use your arrows to adjust it. Okay. So it's five. So what is this for? That is just a setting for whenever we're adjusting the um, the settings inside the system. How about this one? This is just to regenerate the system and clean it, just like on this system here. I see. So oh. if you hold this press this button down, it'll start a cleaning cycle. Okay, and this is the arrow. And this is just the arrows to adjust the time. Okay, I see. All the other settings and stuff are already set, so the only thing you'd be responsible for is just adjusting the time. That's set properly. And then once this finishes flushing, I'll get water back to the house and we'll be good to go. Okay. It's like cleaner now. Yeah, it's a lot more clear. This is just another overflow valve, just in case. Uh, looks like it's been cut. Yeah, if anything. What happened? Why myself? It's like always have a hole in the middle. Um. Well, that's just to help to keep the salt bridges down. But a lot of times it still gets clumped up. Uh -huh. So you can see you got like clumps of salt in here. Uh -huh. That's just due to the humidity, unfortunately. Yeah. So. Are you like recommend this kind of soap, rock salt, or the one that it's like? Um, yeah, so the colors are still good to get. Um, just stay with the same type of salt, and you're good. Okay. So you just wait. We're just waiting to that to finish, right? Yeah, just six more minutes. Okay. Like 
Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. That's the... Okay, yeah, see? It's leaking, right? Mm -hmm. Is that a bad bud or no, when it's, it's leaking there? No, it's probably just the, the drain line probably came loose from the ground. Oh, I see. 